to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and I'm currently on street number 18 here in Kanga City and I'll just go on a casual, calm, peaceful evening walk here in Tanga and you'll get a vibe what's it like here in the evening in this section of the town. So if you're new to the channel do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni Jiji La Tanga, Karibuni Tanzania. You can see the sun is setting now and straight out the back it's the cool of the day a lot of people are coming out the gentlemen there they're just playing a lovely game of football so that's socializing enjoying themselves playing football so this is a nice kind of vibe here in the neighborhood here in Tanga City okay so let's walk further down you get an idea of how some of the business operate here it's really calm this time in the evening and like I said, one of the things you'll notice about Tanga City, it's, it's, it could be quite laid back, but the people do have a sense of business and you do see a lot of business here in operation. So let's walk around and see the vibe. So we started a walk from street number 18. We're coming up to, this is street number 17 going inside here. There are a lot of developments happening in the city most definitely. And to my, right in front of me you can see that tall building there. Those are apartments. And a lot of them are actually coming up more and more in the city as I explore. I'm seeing a lot of them are being built. So this is just a casual, calm stroll here in the evening time in Tanga. You get a lot of people coming out and having some tea with their friends. You know, Tanga Weezy, Chayarangi, Al Susu, and just relaxing and enjoying themselves in the evening time here in Tanga. I do appreciate you to let me know what you think about the Tanga series so far. Are you enjoying it? Are there places that you felt I have missed out on here in Tanga? Do let me know. So this is a local shop here, you can even see you can get wholesale goods here as well. Now the religion of Islam is a very important part of the lives of many of the people here in Tanga City, the Tanga region. So one of the popular features you will see when you visit Tanga are the, are the masjids or the mosque. In Kiswahili they say Misikiti and we're coming up to one right now. You can see that's the minaret at the top and they have the speakers around it so when they do the call to prayer you'll hear obviously the, the, the words being recited in Arabic and people will congregate in the mosque there to pray and this happened at least five times a day <laughs> Next <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, some some guys were just asking to be on the on the film when I come back. So hopefully, when I go back there again, we can do something. But this is the vibe here. You can see there are a lot of businesses. Some have closed now. Some are closing. And this section, you can get a lot of uh, wholesale products. So flour, rice, and different things like that can be purchased at these type of shops here. We also have a lot of bread. So you can see these guys have set up right here and they're selling different sandwich loaves and stuff like that. Now for some people, they may want to buy, let's say, second-hand beds and stuff like that. You can get second-hand furniture in this side of town. As you can see here, they have furniture, they have different uh, cabinets for the kitchen, they have sofa sets, all of that can be purchased here. Sally, someone is someone is selling uh, honey, asali, asali, genuine asali, asali at least see the real thing, and it could be used for medicine. As uh, honey is definitely quite good, and the ones you get in this region is definitely the organic and pure honey. So these are some of the way people advertise themselves. They may not have, let's say. Uh, a big billboard to advertise their services or even an online presence but as you walk on the street you'll hear something coming from the speakers for example what we see there today someone said asali asali and you know they're selling it you go there and you negotiate and you purchase if you're interested You can see down this street there's another mosque down there again so you can see there there are many uh, masters and mosques in this city you see them quite a lot can find a lot of things for your living room here as well for many people in the west you may have forgotten about this but this is Swahili they call it Chandarua 
and it's basically mosquito net to protect you from the mosquitoes because some of them do carry malaria in some areas so yeah you need to protect yourself from that so that's what they look like this is another tea spot across the road where you can go and purchase and buy some tea You can see businesses swinging, you have television sets, you have fans, you have blenders, you have radios. Quite a lot of things can be purchased here on this street. So there's definitely a great sense of business in this town, which I'm liking. Alright guys, I'm going to end the walk right here, so I do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode. You got a little insight into one of the, the streets here in Tanga City, so I do appreciate your time for always watching my videos. And if you're from this area and you know the street very well, let me know what you think about this area. Is it how you remembered it? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and do remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe.